What is up guys and welcome to a new series where I use money making guides from the OSRS wiki. If you guys enjoy this idea, I'll definitely make more and try to run through every single one of these on the list, no matter how ridiculous they might be. I'll be trying and testing out these money makers to see how accurate they are so you don't have to. Let's get into the video. So for today's video, we will be doing mining volcanic ash. Now this person did say that they wanted to either see exchanging impling jars or the volcanic ash. And since we've already made a video on the eclectic implings, I thought we'd go ahead and do the ash. But that doesn't mean that we won't do the exchanging implings later on in the future. Now for this money maker, you will be needing at least 22 mining, um, a mithril pickaxe or better, some weight reducing clothing, the completion of bone voyage, and 100 kudos. Now as we move over to my in-game character, I will be showing off the gear that I used specifically. I used, of course, my full graceful because you will be running around a lot. I also brought a amulet of glory to increase the chance of getting gems while doing this money making method. I also brought a gem bag to store the gems. And then of course I brought the dragon pickaxe, which is my best pickaxe that I can use. Now getting to the place, we'll be using the dick site pendant to teleport to fossil island. Then we will go over to this magic mushroom teleportation system that they got set up and go to the second option, which is verdant valley. And then we'll run over here northeast a little bit. And this is the spot where we will be doing the moneymaker. We'll be mining these rocks that you see right here, or ash piles as they are called. And that's pretty much it. For the rest of the video, we'll be just running around between these ash piles, obtaining the volcanic ash for about the next hour, and we'll see how much money that we can make from this. Something else you can bring while doing this money making method is stamina potions. I did have to refill my stamina once during this one hour, and by the way I did that was by using my max cape, but of course you don't need the max cape. The only reason I wear the max cape is because, well, I have it, but it also acts as a graceful cape, so don't worry if you don't have it. If you plan to stay here a long time, I would bring stamina potions just to extend the trip. The amount that you will bring will depend heavily on how long you plan on staying here and your agility level because the higher your agility level, the less you will need the stamina potions. Another very important thing is your mining level. The higher your mining level, the more money you will ultimately make from this money maker because the amount of ash you get per, I guess, action will be higher depending on your mining level. So right here you'll see a chart and it basically shows how much ash you will obtain depending on your mining level. So while doing this, I had 99 mining. So I was getting the maximum amount of ash that you can receive, which is six per action. So again, this will depend heavily on your mining level. You might also benefit from having a decent hunter level because throughout this one hour, there was a lot of implings flying around. So catching them could be worthwhile. You might get lucky with some third age from a dragon impling if you see one. But Unfortunately, we didn't see any dragon implings during this one hour, but we did see a bunch of other ones like young, eclectic, and the sort. And as you can see here, I did drop some of the soda ash that was clogging up my inventory. The reason I did that was because I needed space for the possibility of gems to enter my inventory. And if it's clogged up, they won't enter your inventory, so that's why I dropped it. And again, the soda ash, uh, it isn't worth keeping simply because it doesn't stack like the volcanic ash does and the value of it isn't really that high. Now, if you're like me, you have probably never ever mined for volcanic ash or even really heard about it, but basically volcanic ash is used to turn super compost into ultra compost. And as a normal account, I really never had a reason to come here and mine it, but you will see, I guess, plenty of iron men doing this so that they can upgrade their compost to ultra because ultra compost is by far the best compost you can use for farming. And as for the soda ash that we keep dropping throughout this one hour, uh, that's actually used for crafting. And again, it's another Iron Man type deal. I mean, whenever I trained crafting, I didn't use soda ash ever, but it is used to train crafting. And I know that it's popular among Iron Man. But even if you are an Iron Man, I don't think mining these rocks is the best way to get soda ash. I think there's far better ways to get it. So like I said earlier, this was my first time uh, doing this method. I had never been here before, so I wasn't really sure what the most efficient route was to mine the most uh, ash, I guess you could say. So in the beginning, I ended up using all the rocks that were in the vicinity, but 
towards the end, or actually towards the middle, I started focusing on the four rocks in the middle, and then I used the fifth rock on the right side if the four rocks in the middle hadn't replenished yet. And thanks to Rune Light, I was able to determine whether I should run to the middle for the next rock, or if I should just run to the right side to get that fifth rock because the other ones wouldn't be ready in time. So I'd say that having Rune Light and its mining timers is pretty, pretty nice. So overall, I'd say that this moneymaker was pretty AFK. It is random at times because whenever you click on a ash pile, you could mine just one time, or you could be there for a full straight minute mining. And it, it really just depends on the game, whether it you know, wants to keep you there forever or tell you to move a lot. So if you have the right RNG, you'll be there AFKing for long periods of time. Now, as for a training method, I would say that this really isn't the training method for mining that you would want to use, but it is nice passive XP if you are going there anyways for either the money or if you're an Iron Man and going there for the ultra compost ingredients. And towards the end of this video, not only will I be showing the money obtained from this one hour of mining volcanic ash, but I will also be showing the amount of XP that we gained from doing this method. Aside from the volcanic ash and the soda ash that you receive, and the gems that you receive during this one hour, we also did manage to receive a clue geode, I believe it's called, with a beginner clue on the inside. So it appears that there is a small chance to obtain clue scrolls here while you're mining. And with that being said, we are approaching the end of this one hour, and now we can go ahead, teleport out, go to the GE, and look at what we got. So, as you can see here, we got 6,666 volcanic ash, we have some soda ash that really isn't worth anything, and then we have some gems, we have some sapphires, emeralds, and rubies. And after putting all of these items into the price checker, it says that we have a total value of around 695,000 coins. So now we can go ahead and go to the GE and put them in there and wait for them to sell. And then of course we also have our nice little clue geode, but unfortunately we can't sell that. But you can always do the clue and hope that you get lucky with, you know, a nice clue item. So we'll be putting in the volcanic ash for the OS Buddy actively traded price, which is 94, which Kind of sucks because it's less than we saw on the price check, but you know, it's just the cost of doing business, I guess. And more than likely, we'll, we will be letting the volcanic ash sit here for a while. It probably won't sell all at once, but we'll just leave it in here until it does sell. And while I'm selling these items, I'll just take the time to tell you that I am still playing Twisted Leagues. Having a good old time on there, but I am playing it a lot more relaxed now. I'm mostly just doing some AFK skilling methods on there uh, while I play on the alt, because recently on the alt I actually completed the Fremnic Exiles quest so that I can go and try and hunt for a Basilisk Jaw since they're worth so much right now. But I did have a very low amount of points so lately I've just been doing a lot of Wilderness Slayer to build up all those points and last night I actually got my first Basilisk task but no Jaw yet but you know hopefully we'll get lucky on one of those. And if and when I do get it. I don't even know if I want to sell it. I mean, it's worth over 30 mil, but it just, it, it looks so nice as a helmet, so I might just end up keeping it, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see once I get it. I'll update you guys on that one. And as you can see here, I am selling the Soda Ash, and I have reduced the price so many times, and it will not sell until I put it at three coins each. So this just further solidifies the fact that you should not keep the Soda Ash. You should just drop it. It's really not worth anything. But after selling everything, we can get an accurate price check, and we have made a total of 634,000 coins from one hour of mining volcanic ash. Less than we saw in the price check, but it's still a good amount. Decent amount for the amount of effort that we have to put in. Now normally we'd switch off to the next screen and do some calculations to figure out how much money we made, but since there was no money that we needed to spend on this moneymaker, aside from a pickaxe, and a glory that you can sell back after you're done with it, this video will just be purely profit. So we made a grand total of 634,280 GP, and we also managed to get 11.8k in mining experience. And due to popular demand, I have included the OSRS Wiki's estimation of how much profit you'll make and how much experience you will gain, but of course, we did go over that, but it's just because of our mining level. Like I said before, this moneymaker is heavily dependent on your mining level. The higher your mining level, the more volcanic ash you'll get, and the more money you will receive in the end. 
And now here I'm just showing off a small little clip of me getting 99 woodcutting on Twisted Leagues. This was done last night and I gotta say with all the relics that give you the bonus XP, the levels just fly by. It's ridiculous. But with that being said, I just want to say thanks for checking out the video. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up and possibly a subscription. It is completely free. And as always, thanks for stopping by and I will catch you in the next video.